Merrick's has got talent reviews for this week, Tuesday, July 13th, and Wednesday, July 14th. Going to review the four from each, uh, four potentials I think that could go do some stuff or the ones that really stuck out as far as good performers or good things. Our first, Tuesday, the little kid on the guitar, nine-year-old Talon Noble Lance, uh, is a third grade student, or going into fourth grade now, I would hope so, because that's kind of old. Uh, he's pretty good at guitar. I like his influences because he uh, talked about Joey Satriani, um, Stevie Ray Vaughan, and Joe Bonamassa, who is from where I am right now in Utica, New York, pretty much right from this area. Um, he's very talented for nine years old. He's not going to make it that far because it's he's not that good yet. He's good. Uh, he's going to be great in like three years when he's 12, but it's not. he's not going to make it enough. He's not, gonna, he's not good enough. Uh, Kelly Glover, the girl that was in season one of American Idol, she's pretty good. She's not great. Um, it was neat seeing Dunkelman on there announcing her off, you know. <laughs> Oops. Um, but the Platt brothers, they were the three dancing guys in the track suits or the jumpsuits. Very original, very creative. Uh, they could go far if their routines are still there are like uh, quite as innovative as this first one. I don't know, though. I think they'll make the, uh, the call-in rounds or whatever. Uh, spiritual harmonizers. These guys are the ones that I think stick out the most to me, uh, simply because they're an African American, uh, you know, kind of barbershop. I don't know, garbage R and B group. And uh, the one dude, the main guy. They're all male dudes. And uh, the one guy, the main guy, was amazing. Right? He's 28 years old. Uh, they sing in uh, church and post office. The one thing I don't like about this week is like if you really um, Nick Cannon. I don't like how he sounds sometimes when he's doing his little commentary or stuff. He just sounds like a, an idiot. Okay, I like if you I win the money, I ain't gonna deliver no more letters on national television. You know, maybe when he was making Nickelodeon videos, he should have gone to school or studied or something. Sorry, sorry, Nick, love you. All right, Wednesday today, uh, first one. This was the uh, the best moment of the. Uh, the night of the week, I think, was uh, Carrie Cullen, the girl that's 43. This is um, our Susan Boyle, kind of oldish, frumpy. Uh, she had a cleft palate or whatever. Um, she did not look pretty. But when she opened up her mouth, that lady could sing. And uh, that could be our story. She did Somewhere from West Side Story. It was a beautiful song. She kind of shouted it at the end because she was just really, really rocking it. Um, I worry that she may try to overpower herself in the future. Um, but she's got some talent, yo. She's really got some talent. Um, Rashida Jolly, she was the girl with the harp and the really good voice, you know, uh, the really good R&B voice. A uh, weird thing with her is, like, it's a harp and a voice, you know. Does she... Yeah, it's kind of confusing, you know, but it's very unique. Uh, Wednesday had some really unique stuff. Um, the two guys, Matt and Anthony, they're the college kids that didn't really have a name of their group. One uh, played guitar and sang. The other tap danced the crap out of the stage. It's It was the strangest thing I'd seen. I thought, I was like, oh, these guys are going to suck. And I was wrong, and, you know, so was the other thing. Um, and Mia, the 16-year-old girl that almost made it to the uh, voting rounds last year, she was much better. It shows you what a year can do. But, um, you know, the, the biggest of the biggest people I think this week is the one dude from the Spiritual Harmonizers. Does one dude really make an act? The rest of the harmonies are they're okay. It's just not great. His voice is great. Um, and Carrie, uh, Carrie Callen, she was amazing. She was amazing. And, uh, I, and Mia was good, you know, and we'll see what happens. I think of the, the eight people I just talked about, people that will probably go through to the, the voting rounds will be the Spiritual Harmonizers. Uh, Carrie Kalen, Matt and Anthony, and uh, Mia. I don't know about the Platt brothers. They're close. I don't think, uh, well, Kelly Glover maybe. But I forget how many people are in that last round. If there's 40, then most of these people will make it. Not the little kid on the guitar. And uh, not, uh, I don't know. I'm just full of crap. Whatever. I'll. Uh, it'll get more fun as we get closer and closer. Like this. <laughs> Bye. See you soon.